question in Al Gurabu Wal Hiyatu Ya Shabazu Ikra'ahu. Read it. Maza. Maza. Falta. Maza. Kara. The first question. Maza Falta. Maza. White. Falta. Mother, Right. Okay, so we've got mother. Mother means what? What? <laughs> then we've got this verb, and because there's no harakat on it, there's no endings. Do we pronounce this now? Do we pronounce it faalta, faalti, faalat, faaltu? Right. Let's work it out. Yeah. We're going to work this out. Mother, forget mother at the yeah. moment, okay? That just means what? Then we have a fitlun. So a sentence begins with a fitlun. That's how we understand it. This is considered to be the start of the sentence, yeah. right? In terms of is it a jumlatul fitliya or is it jumlatul ismiya? That's it's no relevance to it. So we have a fitlun. We have a fitlun, therefore, this must be. Fa'ilun. Right, it's either going to be the fa'ilun or it's going to be the mafulun bihi. Let's work it out. Is it going to be the fa'ilun, the doer? Well, if it's the doer, what do we put on al hayya? Let's put al hayya too. Right? So if that's the doer, what therefore is this verb? Fa'alta. Sorry? Fa'alta. Right. Fa'al, fa'al. Ta, what does fa'al ta mean? Is the root fa'ala? Yeah, fa'ala. Fa'ala means? He did. He did. So fa'al ta means? Finish. No, fa'al ta. Male. You single male did. Yeah. Fa'al ta is you single male. You single female is? Fa'al ti. Fa I did is? Fa'al tu. We did is? Fa'al na. Fa right, Shabazz? Yes. Right. So, if that's fa'al ta, what does it mean? What, what did you do? The snake? Yeah. Does that make sense? No. What did the snake do? Right now. Right. Is that what the meaning is supposed to be? What did the snake do? Shabazz, what do you think? Yeah. Why? Then is, is that verb going to be fa'alta, you did? No, no. What's it going to be? He did. He did fa'al hiyatu? Or she did. Right. She did. So she did is? Fa'alti. <laughs> no, ta, uh, sukun. A sukun. Fa'alat. It's going to be fa'alat, isn't it? What did al to do? What did she do? What did al to do? But now, we've got this problem, haven't we? Two sukuns. Two sukuns. So Shabazz, what happens to the sukun on the ta? Uh, it becomes a kasra. Ma the fa'ala? Till right, mother fa'al fa'atil hiyatu. Then we have b. What does b mean? It's harfu jarin. What does it mean? Either it means in or with. Then we have farahi. Farahun means chicks. And I've already put a kasra on there. So the fact that I put a kasra on here. And we've got al gurab here, and we've got chicks and al gurab. What kind of construct that is that going to be? Idafa. So bifarakhil gurab. 
focus on the Shabazz. You know this, the second noun and in idafa is always Marfu'un Not Marfu'un Oh sorry The second noun and idafa is always Majroorun I think you meant that didn't you Shabazz? Yeah that's why I said, I did the action Right So What does the sentence mean, the complete sentence? ماذا فعل فعل تل هي تبي فراخ الغرابي. What did the snake do to the raven's chicks? Right, that's the question, isn't it? That is a question. So the answer is, think whenever you what we have to do because this isn't complicated. What happens is 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 that the the, the brothers try and make give a complicated answer. To the question, we need to think of it in simple terms, right? Is that is our answer going to comprise of a verb or not? If it is, what which type of sentence are we going to use? A jumla to fit liya, and we're going to begin with that verb, aren't we? Okay. So, how, how would we say this in English? In simple terms, I say she ate it. Right. We need to well, we just need to, to, to mention the three Snake. parts, don't we? Right. So, so what are we going to begin with? Right, and the verb is? Akala. Right, akala. Are we going to say akala? Akala means? He ate. He ate. We want to say she ate. We want to say she ate. So it's akala? Akalat, good. Right, akalat. Then the next part of al jumla al fa'liya is? Akalat al Right. Yes, Shabazz, you agree? Right. Al hayya two. Then we have this problem of two sakuns, so it becomes? Akalatil hayya two. Right, then we just need what? The third and f uh, final part of uh, Jumla to Fi'liya is? Mafulun <laughs> bihi. What did Al Hayyatu Akalat? The chicks. Right? So, how are we going to say this? Fara because chicks is Farakhun. Is that what we're going to say? Akalat Al Hayyatu Farakhun? Are we going to just say farakhun or are we going to use an idafa? Shabazz, what do you think? Raven chicks. Alright, okay. Yeah? Yeah. We may as well because it's mentioned in the question. So we're going to say, so how do we compose an idafa comprising of chicks and raven? Farah, Farah. This can be in all three states, can't it? Yes, but the mafulun bihi ya shabaz is always. So in fatha, is always a fatha. Also is majroor. Not majroor. No, no, no. The mafulun bihi. The mafulun bihi is always. Fatha. Fatha. No, no, remember that the, 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 the many examples, Kataban, Waladu Kitaban. Yeah. Farah Khal. Farah. Right? So it's Farah. Actually, that's not written very well. Let me do that again. Right. Okay. 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 Shabazz, you look worried, which concerns me. We just said that the uh, the mafulun bihi. Yeah. Sorry, mudafun ilai is always majrur. 
The second noun. The second noun is always majrurun. Not the first one. The first one can be all three states. But because here it's it's the maf'ulun bihi, it's going to be mansubun. Normally it will be maf'ulun. Remember? Say that again. Right, I'll, I'll let, let's. Isn't the idafa the chicks and the gurab, yeah? Yes, that's the idafa, right? We'll, we'll, we'll separate it out, yeah, right? Our. Right? Kitabul waladi. What does kitabul waladi mean? The boys. Kitabul waladi. The, a waladi is the boy. Kitabul Waladi, the boy's book. The boy's book. Yeah. Okay, that is our idafa. Kitabul Waladi, a normal idafa, comprising of two nouns. The first noun can be in any state. Mm. Right, Shabazz, we know this. Yeah. So it can be Kitabu, Kitaba, and Kitabi. Yeah. The second noun in an idafa is always Majrurun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Here, I've written Kitabul Waladi on the board, but that Dhamma there is how it should be, right? Why? Because it's in its default state. Yeah. Even though I say it can be Kitab al Waladi yeah. and it can be Kitab al Waladi, yeah. it, the fact that it can be doesn't mean I'm going to write that on the board because yeah. it wouldn't make any sense, yeah. right? It's going to be Kitar Bul Waladi. Okay? Now, if my idafa is the maf'ulun bihi of a fitlun, such as qara'a, qara'a means he read. Now, my idafa is the maf'ul. Well, I said the idafa. It's this bit, mm. the kitab, mm. which is the maf'ul and bihi of qara'a. Mm. What does my dhamma change to? A fatha. Why? A fatha. Okay. Al waladi stays the same. Yeah, yeah. Always majrurun. But my kitabu has changed to kitaba. Yeah? Yeah. And note here, we haven't mentioned a fa'ilun. Okay? We haven't mentioned a fa'ilun, but it's assumed to be huwa. Huwa. It's called mustatir. Huwa. Huwa. Okay? But we could mention a, a normal. We could mention a, a normal one. Qara'a Muhammadun, for example. Muhammadun. Qara'a Muhammadun Kitab al Waladi. So, going back to our sentence here. Okay. We have Akalatil Hayyatu Farakhal Gura. B. Is that clear? Yeah. So, have a good look, Shabazz. Oh. If anything's not clear, ask. Even if we have to go over again, it doesn't matter. No, no, it's uh, the B has made the. Yeah, yes. because because the first noun can be in all three states, yes. can't it? Okay. It can be. Okay, we'll conclude on that point. It would be useful if you try to answer the rest of the questions for homework. And again, concentrate on keeping it simple and structured. And if you do that, then inshallah it should be easy to do. Okay? Don't overcomplicate it or think that it's too complicated to answer, so I'm, I'm not going to do it. Could you possibly, um, on the group, put the English of what these questions are? Yeah, I'll, I'll mention the English and inshallah. The Arabic, so okay. We'll conclude. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu alayk.